now. You know, what, one of the things, especially if you're um, a, a new viewer of this and, and you aren't very familiar with my or Marcy's work, um, you know, one of the things that uh, we kind of um, move towards is, is authentic relationships as opposed to um, manipulation-based relationships or, or something like that. And so when Marcy talks about knowing yourself, you know, it, it's, it's this topic about really um, <clears throat> getting to a space so that, so that when you're in a relationship, the person that you're in that relationship with has the ability to actually get to know you. And so um, w one of the things that uh, you're talking to me about the other night, uh, Marcy, was um, this whole thing about uh, when women um, lose themselves in a relationship. Uh, can, can you talk a little bit about uh, how that happens and, and why that's important? First of all, I want every woman listening to this to know that it's not your fault. You've been programmed to do that. And so I want you to take a nice deep breath and just let that breath go and know that this is not your fault and that you're not alone. Women have been taught to do this centuries, I think, and it's a real misfortune. We've been misled. We've been lied to. We've been told that our purpose in life is to go out and to find a partner who's going to love us. And we've been told that we are to do whatever it takes to do that. This is the biggest falsehood, the biggest lie in the world. Your job is not to go out to find someone who's going to love you. And that may come as a shock to you. Your job is to go out and find someone to love. And in order to do that, you have to be the best you that you can possibly be. Because the only way that you're going to be able to energetically connect with a person on the level of who you are, who will love you exactly for who you are, is to be who you are. Your job is to be the best you that you can possibly be. And I want you all to imagine for a moment your soulmate sort of standing right outside of your reach. And without even thinking about yourself, just take a breath for a moment and feel what you imagine that love for your soulmate is going to feel like. And ask yourself the question, what would I want from my soulmate? Who would I want from my soulmate? That answer can only be you. There's no competition for you. You don't have to worry about somebody else getting your soulmate. There is no competition for you because there is no other you. And that person who is going to love you the way that you want to be loved, and the way that you deserve to be loved, and the way that you're worthy of being loved, wants all of you. Even those parts of you that you deem unworthy of loving, or unacceptable. They're waiting to love all of you. And the only way to bring them into your life is to be all of you. And so your job, starting right here and right now, is to be you, is to be authentic, to be true to yourself and committed to really developing that authenticity and expressing it. 
And the moment that you begin that, you're going to start to see a shift in the people that you attract to you. Because they'll be attracted not to the facade of you, not to this masquerade of you, but to you. And you will recognize that energetically, and so will they. And you'll begin to find that you'll have an ease in your communication. Because you'll be safe, you'll feel safe, and you'll be able to trust yourself to speak from your heart. And isn't that the way you would want to communicate with your soulmate? Of course it is. You want to be free, free to evolve in that relationship. If you're in a relationship based on anything other than who you really are, you will hemorrhage so much energy by trying to maintain that lie, that facade, that you cannot evolve and grow and expand in love the way you know that you deserve to do. And so the most important thing that you can do is start to be your authentic you. And you want to know something? You may find that you'll turn some people off. Bravo. Bravo. They don't belong in your inner circle. If you're turning them off, it's because they're not in vibrational alignment with your truth. And you don't want them there. You want to clear that path so that your soulmate can make a beeline for you and know exactly where to find you. Because you will be all about you and no one else. And all of those parts of you that are ready to be loved will be loved and plenty of room for that love to grow. Hmm. Man, that was powerful. I uh, got shivers down my spine just <laughs> listening to that. Yeah, um, <clears throat> it's true. And anyone listening, if you had those shivers, that truth is resonating in you. You know this. <laughs> 